Readers have picked their choices in the books they enjoy to read the most. Dina Zaman's collection of short stories, King of the Sea, backed the top prize in the fiction category at this year's popular The Star Reader's Choice Awards, beating internationally lauded author Tan Tuan Eng's The Garden of Evening Mists. I've never won anything in my life, even in lucky draw, you know. Tak puan pun tak pernah menang. So, uh, and to be Tan Tuan Eng, um, oh, a writer that I really, really admire, is an interesting Ramadan for me. Thank you very much. Zaman's series of short, whimsical tales inspired by her hometown in Terengganu beat South Africa-based Malaysian writer Tan's piece of historical fiction. But for me, when it comes to Terengganu, because that's my kampo, I, mean, I grew up with all these fairy tales. And there is a magical quality to Terengganu. Yeah. And when I wrote, started writing the short stories, that was for my masters, and plus I was in England. And I was really homesick for the sea. The Garden of Evening Mists recently backed the Walter Scott Prize for historical fiction. Ex-accountant E.S. Shankar's political satire, Tiger Isle, A Government of Thieves, came third. For the awards non-fiction category, first prize went to Maidin, The Untold Story. Latin Dr. Hajah Siti Hawa Muhammad, the daughter-in-law of conglomerate founder Maidin Muhammad, wrote the story of Malaysian entrepreneurship. Marina Mahdi's Telling is Straight, a collection of both her published and unpublished columns tackling a wide range of contemporary and political issues came second. National badminton icons Datuk Lee Chong Wei's autobiographical account, There to be a champion, came in third. In the Malay language fiction category for the awards, Suri Riana's Istri Sparomasa took top prize. Sura Asifar Sebenarnya, Saya Istri Dia, and Acik Lana's Maaf Jika Aku Tidak Sempurna took second and third prize respectively. In the non-fiction category, the first place went to Anda Bertanya, Ustaz Azhar Menjawab Berkenaan Pemasalahan Umat. Tun Dr. Mahathir Muhammad took second place with his Dr. Umum, Memoir Tun Dr. Mahathir Muhammad. Tuhan Sedang Menguji Kita by Ustaz Kazim Elias took third place. The announcement of the winners came after a month-long voting campaign by members of the public at an award ceremony at Kuala Lumpur Convention Centre Saturday morning. The award ceremony coincides with day one of this year's Bookfest at Malaysia, the annual nine-day book festival organized by the Popular Book Company.